Hello again, it's me, the hater of capitalism. I am No Shops, and welcome to episode 2. In the last episode, we mostly looked at the road ahead up to Dragon Slayer. One of the things we'll need for definite in future is a decent smithing level, so my main goal today is going to be getting 50 smithing and making my own mithril dagger from scratch, as well as challenging Delrith and becoming a demon slayer. So, the Knight Sword was a huge boon to our stats, letting us just about produce any piece of iron equipment. Unfortunately, that was the easy part, and the most frustrating part of the grind comes next. Iron bars are deceptively straightforward to make. Half the ore and double the XP rates from bronze sound superb, but for some god's forsaken reason, iron ore has a 50% chance of being destroyed when you smelt it and you just straight up lose the ore, which effectively reduces your XP rates to half. For this reason, I want to get to gold ore, which is 22.5 XP per bar, which only needs one ore per bar and has no fail rate. Iron is still my best XP rates for now, so I will have to ground out iron ore and make plate bodies until I hit 4A mining and smithing. I'm in need of putting up some combat stats, and given my equipment I have to play it fairly safe with what I'm fighting. This is what Impcatcher is ideal for. The catch to this is that the quest requires me to get 4 coloured beads, which are an uncommon drop from imps. Normal accounts can buy them on the Grand Exchange and literally finish the quest in the same chain of dialogue they started it with. For Iron Man, it's a bit more of a problem. The beads have roughly a 1 in 25 drop rate which isn't bad, but the real kicker comes from the fact that multiples of the same bead can drop, so you can end up getting about 14 beads before you actually finish the quest. Not that I would know at all. So I've been here for about, in total, about an hour and a half. I have received about 10 beads in total. I can't even fucking count, that's how long it's been and I've only just got my yellow bead. I just want to personally say to Wizard Ms. Gog, please don't fuck. During Impcatcher, we got ourselves a Mind Talisman, which unlocks the ability to actually cast spells by letting us craft mind runes. In between other tasks, or if I'm simply not wanting to pay attention, I'm going to be making trips to the Mind Altar. In free to play, it's the only catalytic rune I'm actually able to make until I get membership, and unlock Chaos runes at 35. After that, it's Death Runes, which requires 65 rune crafting and mourning into part 2, which is considered one of the most time consuming quests in the game. To make matters worse, the quest chain is gated behind quests requiring shopping, meaning I'd either have to break my rule or resort to selling cats for 100 Death Runes in West Ardoin instead. Ceramic Varas of the Falador Knights has got a problem. The Black Knight's Fortress to the north is plotting something big. And because of his oath or something, he's forced to conscript a snowflake airman who can't even wear black armour to infiltrate their base. I originally tried infiltrating by knocking on their door and asking if they want to let Sarah Doman into their lives, but they gave me a response I'm legally not allowed to say in a YouTube video. So instead, I'm dressing up as one of their guards and just letting myself in. The Black Knights are immediately hostile and just try to beat me to death, so I'll have to slink back into the shadows. I make my way to the jail cell overhead, and I actually overhear their plot. As it turns out, they need a very specific kind of cabbage to complete the recipe, and literally any other kind will destroy it and ruin it forever, and through some tragic twist of fate and irony, I happen to have the wrong cabbage which just tumbles out of my bag and into the cauldron. Quest complete, 2500 coins, thank you very much. So, I've been prophesied by Gypsy Aris to be the one who will expunge Delrith off of the face of the planet because the first guy, heroically named Wally, didn't quite kill him hard enough and instead sealed his spirit in a stone table for 150 years. To kill Delrith, I need the sword Silverlight, which has been in Wally's family since and is currently entrusted to Sir Prizen. He says he's fortunately locked it behind three keys to ensure it doesn't fall into the wrong hands. Unfortunately for me, he's a fucking idiot and has lost his key down the drain, somehow. Just as well Delrith isn't about to return or this could be somewhat problematic. Turns out all I needed to do was pour a bucket of water down the drain outside and wash it into a pile of muck in the sewers. Captain Rovin holds the second key. He's a very serious individual who takes his job as the head of the guards and the head of security very seriously. So after mocking Sir Prizen for about 30 seconds, he decides I'm worthy of the key locking this powerful artifact. The final key is with Wizard Dreamborn, who's either senile or just playing a very unfunny game of pretending to be senile to fuck with millennials. 
he needs a set of 25 bones, which I just happen to have on me, and the third key is mine. With all three keys, I have the mighty Silverlight, and I'll be ready to challenge Dylan shortly. So, Clue Scrolls are a key source of some great loot, and the only way to get certain equipment on this account. I briefly covered this last episode, getting over bows, but that's just only the tip of the iceberg. I've built up something of a wish list on items I'm wanting to get. Most of it is quality of life stuff, or actually just my highest level equipable gear for the time being. First is black equipment. Smithing Mithril will take me all the way to level 68 to make everything, so having some weaponry or armor attached to the academy there would be ideal. It's a 1 in 44.73 chance to actually get a roll on the black equipment table in the first place. The top item on the list would be the black pickaxe, which is a 1 in 805.1% chance of dropping. Given all the mining I have to do, I certainly wouldn't mind getting one as it's the best free to play pickaxe for my account, and to get anything better, I'd probably have to wait till I get membership and then camp the possessed pickaxes in the Kurin catacombs. As mentioned earlier, getting any kind of bow would be excellent so we can start practicing our ranged. And getting any kind of elemental stave would be great given how much runecrafting I've already had to do. These will be great not only for the unlimited runes but also for the magic bonus, letting me hit harder and therefore saving runes in the process. And finally is the Clue Scroll exclusive drop table. One of the items on this is the trimmed amulet of defence which would be my best in slot necklace if I can land the 1 in 360 chance to actually get it. Otherwise it will be the amulet of accuracy for quite some time. Incredibly hot. And burnt to the touch, this must be the spot. <gasps> oh. Right guys, so... Reward casket, what we were wanting. Uh, a better pickaxe. Uh, a bow. Black equipment. Uh, let's see what we get. Yay, it's uh, stuff I can't use because of my limitations. Oh, a black knight. Let's right click on the black knight three times for good luck and then get some black equipment. Right, okay. Casket number two. We'll look for uh, black equipment, magic staff, pickaxes. Let's go. Ooh, that's quite nice. Not the absolute top tier reward. I'm going to turn this down. Not the top tier reward I was expecting, but I can't craft this. So that's definitely decent for like practicing ranged, and some arrows is really good as well. I just need to get a bow from another clue scroll now. So uh, that's good for us. I'm happy with that. Okay, so we've got uh, another clue scroll here. I think this is number three. Uh, just done it all in between the mining grind. And. Ooh! That's a. Uh... <laughs> Best in slot voice. <laughs> so. I've been doing some grinding on and off to get to gold ore, which is going to be the most consistent source of XP for my account. Bronze and silver are too low, and iron is too unreliable, and steel requires 3 rocks per bar which is very time consuming. Therefore, my best option is gold. It awards 65 XP for each ore mined and 22.5 for each bar I smelt. Level 40 smithing requires 37,224 XP, and level 50 requires 101,333. This means 40 to 50 requires 64,109 XP, which when divided by the 22.5 XP from smelting a gold bar, means I'll have to mine and smelt 2,849 gold ore, with a bronze pickaxe. My best place to mine ore is the Remington Mine. It's closer to a deposit box than the bank in Alcarid, and is quieter meaning I don't have to worry about bots or people mining rocks faster than me. Which is going to be often, giving I'm still doing all of this with the lowest tier pickaxe I got in Limbridge. 
hence the reason of me wanting to get a pickaxe from a clue scroll. I've made it to the stone circle just in time. Denath has just summoned Delrith, and is going to stand guard while he recuperates his long lost power. Oh fuck, is that silver light? See you, Delrith. The Dark Wizards are actually the most threatening thing here, so the idea is to get Delrith's attention and fight them before a wizard engages. With Delrith weakened, all I need to do is recite the incantation to banish him forever. Delrith, Delrith, go away, come again another day. With Delrith banished, I feel it's time to celebrate by making my first mithril weapon. Fifty smithing, hours of grinding, this is what it has all been for. Right guys, here we go. A culmination of all my work. Mithril equipment. Mithril dagger. Oh, 50 XP. I just have to make like 200 of those for a level up. Let's check those stats. Plus 11 to stab. Plus 7 melee Plus, uh, yeah, plus, plus, plus 10 melee strength. That's crazy. Until you go and look at my steel scimitar that I could make ages ago. It's got better stats on it and it has the exact same attack speed because <laughs> fucking thanks, Jagex. Nonetheless, the grind is never over and next time we'll be taking on an even greater challenge. What's in the box? What's in the box? Ha, 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 ha.